Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for all pairs of x comma y in this equation. 2x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared equals 3. And x squared plus xy minus 8y squared equals negative 6. Given that x and y are in the set of real numbers. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now let's answer this question together. Now we are given two equations, 2x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared equals 3 and x squared plus xy minus 8y squared equals negative 6. Now how are we going to answer this question? Now first thing to notice is if we multiply the first equation by 2, this will give us 4x squared minus 6xy plus 8y squared equals 6. And also, if we add these two equations, 8y squared and 6 cancel out. So if we do that, we have 5x squared minus 5xy equals 0. Now, the good thing is, we can factor out 5x in these two terms. If we do that, we get 5x multiplied by x minus y equals 0. Now, since it is equal to 0, it means that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So, we can say that 5x equal to 0 or x minus y equals 0. Now, on the first equation, 5x equals 0, we can say that x equals to 0. And on the second equation, x minus y equals to 0, we can say that x must be equal to y. Now, we have two cases wherein the first case is x equals to 0. In the second case, x must be equal to y. Now, to solve for the values of x and y, we will use the second equation. So, let's have now the first case, wherein x must be equal to 0. Now, if x equal to 0, x squared is just 0, and xy is also 0. So, this will give us negative 8y squared equals negative 6. Now, solving for y, divide both sides by negative 8. This will give us y squared equals negative 6 over negative 8. Now, negative 6 over negative 8 will give us 3 over 4. Now, get the square root on both sides. This will give us the value of y as positive or negative square root of 3 over 4. Now, simplify. This will give us positive or negative square root of 3 over 2. In this case, we can say that if x equals to 0, y must be positive square root of 3 over 2 or negative square root of 3 over 2. So we have now two possible values for x comma y. Now let's have the second case wherein x equals y. Now since x equals y, we can replace all x with y. Now let's simplify. y times y is just y squared y squared plus y squared minus 8y squared is just negative 6y squared. To solve for the value of y, divide both sides by negative 6. So you have y squared equals negative 6 over negative 6. And negative 6 over negative 6 is just 1. Now get the square root on both sides. This will give us the value of y as positive or negative square root of 1. And square root of 1 is just 1. Therefore, in this case that x equals y, if y equals positive 1, then also x is positive 1. If y is negative 1, x must be also negative 1. Therefore, we have another pair of x and y. We have 1 comma 1 and negative 1 comma 1. Therefore, we have four possible values of x comma y. Namely, 0 comma square root of 3 over 2. 0 comma negative square root of 3 over 2, 1 comma 1, and negative 1 comma negative 1. And as always, we are 
Dale.